Hi, I'm Tyler, a wireless engineer here at Pulte. Right now we're in the conference room here in the Pulte offices in Richardson, Texas. So this is the device we're going to be using. So this is an LTE IoT device using a Sequence Monarch CADM modem, and it has a Pulte software connected with a Raspberry Pi. In the future, we're going to be running the Pulte software on the modem itself. Here's a map display showing where the Pulte cloud has calculated our position. The blue dot shows the most likely place, just as you commonly will see on your smartphone device. In this case, the error is only a few meters. The purple dot shows where Wi-Fi placed us in the parking lot, while cell ID alone is almost a kilometer off. Inside this conference room, there's no view of the sky, so GPS isn't going to work. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth location technologies may work, but you'd require more radios and more power. Pulte's cloud location over your cellular solution works deep inside structures like this one. So after a drive through Dallas traffic, we're now in downtown Dallas. So right now we have a lot of skyscrapers all around, and these act as kind of a man-made canyon where all the radio signals bounce around and create a lot of multipath interference. While there is some view of the sky here, it's limited, and GPS may take a while to make a location, and it may have a large error. And then after it does make a location, it needs an LTE modem and radio just to send that location up. Pulte makes the location and sends it up just using the LTE modem. Once again, the blue dot shows where the Pulte cloud calculates us to be, and in fact, we're within 20 meters of that location, better than either Wi-Fi or GPS alone. The Pulte algorithms are dealing with the multipath interference, and with each iteration, the location just gets better and better. Now we've gone the complete other direction. We're out here in a field outside of the DFW Metroplex. Around here, under the big Texas sky, GPS is going to work great, but Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are going to have problems because the signals just don't exist out here. Those are indoor technologies, and we are most definitely outside. Here on the screen, we can see where the Pulte cloud says we are. We're several kilometers from the nearest cell site, but since all it's doing is listening to as many LTE cell sites as it can and sending the data to the cloud using the best serving cell, we can still see and use several sites and calculate our location very accurately. In this case, our derived location is within 20 meters of where we're standing and very close to the GPS position. Traditional hybrid location systems must use multiple radios because while GPS, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi all work great in some situations, none of them work great in every situation. GPS works great outside when you have a clear view of the sky, but it won't work well indoors. And Wi-Fi and Bluetooth will work great indoors, but they're range limited and won't work well outdoors. When trying to combine these technologies and hybridize your solution, you end up with added cost and power of having all of these things together. The reduced cost and power needs will make the billions of devices being added to the wireless internet over the next few years cost effective to track and locate. Pulte solution uses only the cellular radio and modem already on an IoT device, such as the Sequence Monarch device that we've been using to locate today. Works here. Works in here. Works here. Works in here. Works here.